But that is not going to stop folks from having a great time at some <laughs> great events in the area. Judy Frankel from the Convention and Visitors Bureau is joining us here in the warm backyard. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Lots of stuff going on. It is a great weekend in the Madison, greater Madison area. Lots of fun things to do. But I would suggest people head out to Mount Horeb for their summer frolic. It's a great kickoff to summer, and they've got lumberjacks. And we lumberjacks. have a lumberjack here. Adrian? Yes, Adrian Flick. And you are from? I grew up in Baraboo. I live in Fort Collins, Colorado now. So you travel the country doing this? All over the country, co literally coast to co coast, to coast, north to south, every place in between. Wow. Is it a full-time job? No, I have a normal job. I'm fortunate to teach high school in Fort okay. Collins. <laughs> but this is, a, uh, I'd say, a serious hobby in terms of time and energy that I allocate to timber sports and what you'd expect from a competitor. I want to hear about the sports, but I also want to hear about the appearance because right. you kind of look like a lumberjack. There's, there's a lot of cliches embodied in my <laughs> okay. presence here. And I would say two things, that the guy who's won the last three years, who's won the Steel Series the last three years, has no whiskers to speak of. Well, that doesn't count. Yeah, no. So uh, that, that's a bit of a sham. We always give him a hard time about that. But uh, this started for me as utility. I'd broken my hand in a timber sports accident and okay. so couldn't shave. And then it kind of fit into, you got the big voice and you're in the timber sports right. and you got the big beard, so. And you're tall. Yeah, yeah. Okay, All right, let's see what, what you, gonna, let's see what let's you're doing here. So yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this discipline's the underhand chop. It's one of the disciplines you will see contested both Saturday and Sunday. And uh, the, basically the goal of the discipline is to get the log in half by cutting it about halfway through on the front and halfway through on the back. Okay, it is timed? Timed, yep. Okay. On go, everybody starts, first person off wins. All right. Adrian! <laughs> Yo! All right. <laughs> Ready, so cool. set. Oh. So this is a 13 inch piece of white pine. I'll give a cadence, time to test race with two. Oh my gosh. <gasps> watch for you, watch your toes. I know. Doesn't that He's got frighten you a little it. bit? Oh gosh, I feel like I'm gonna get a wood chip. <laughs> That looks as It requires hard as a it, lot of yeah. balance, clearly, and he's not on a solid surface. I mean, he is, but not a flat surface. Well, if you're out in the woods and you got to chop down a log. Mm, I guess that makes sense, but. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the things going on in Mount Horn. Correct. Um, if you wanted to get an early start on your day, I would head out to Blue Mounds, really close to uh, Mount Horeb for Dane County breakfast on the farm. Great way to celebrate. Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. The stand was rocking a little bit. Usually, uh, <laughs> just bolted down to a deck. That's a lot of work. Dane County, breakfast, breakfast on, on the farm. farm. Yep. Can you see us through the tree here? Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> don't forget to go down to Bree Stevensfield tonight for a great free family event. Uh, it's uh, the catch and reel, the fish fry, and a family-friendly movie, The Incredibles. Stay cool, whatever you do. Correct. Adrian, thank you. Congratulations. Adrian, you were awesome. Thank you, thank you so much.